high third grade. So today I'm going to give you some tips and tell you some things that I've noticed. And we're going to review how to do your multiple choice questions and CER for today for the Cesar Chavez passage. Okay. So great job to the friends who have logged into ReadWorks. Some of you were having trouble logging in. You only need to log in with Google. Yes, you do have a class code. So if Google signing in with Google doesn't work, your teachers will give you the class code. But you don't need the class code if you click the red bar that says sign in with Google account. Okay, so click that when you go to the ReadWorks link. Your link is in your assignment today. Click that, sign in with your email, um, your Google account. It's the same one that we use for everything to sign in. Okay, that'll make it easy. Also, today you will see there are there's two Cesar Chavez um, assignments. The, there's one that was from yesterday. It'll say May 4th. That one, you were only supposed to read it, read the article, the ebook, and work on the vocabulary. You did not need to do questions, okay? Some of you already did it because Miss Hill made a mistake and put them on there. That's okay. I took that one off and put the other one back up. Today's assignment says May 5th, okay? So you'll see the old one from yesterday, Cesar Chavez, and you'll see the new one for today on top, and it says May 5th. On that one, all you have is the article, the comprehension questions, okay? That's it, because that's all you need today, because we're doing the questions. That's our focus, okay? So you need to read the article again, go back to the text, and then answer the questions, okay? All right, so do not log into the May 4th one because there's no questions on it. I took that down so it wouldn't confuse you. So make sure you log into the one on top for the questions. All right, now, another thing I'm noticing, lots of you are going on and you're doing your work, but then you're not pressing submit on ReadWorks. Once you finish with the questions today and you've read the article and you did the questions on ReadWorks, you need to press submit then you need to go back to google classroom and press turn in or mark as done whatever it says i think it's going to say turn in okay you need to go back to google classroom so you have to press it twice i can see that some of you have logged into readworks and you're looking at it but you keep forgetting to press submit even if it's just reading you press submit okay or you're not going to get counted for all that hard work that you're doing all right um, I want to send a shout out to two friends. Everybody's working hard, but Jasleen and UCLA and Noah and UCLA, you guys, they actually sh did the highlighting that I showed them on ReadWorks that I showed you guys in when we were working on Frida. They highlighted their notes on the article, typed in accomplishment, accomplishment, or who, what, where, when, why, or I'm going to put this on the purpose side, the deeper. I'm going to put this on the accomplishment side. So they followed Miss Hill's advice and their article. I can tell that they really read through and took their time. So they're going to do even better on the multiple choice questions and the CER. So it's okay if you didn't do that. You can still do it today. Go to the article and do that. Now, if that doesn't work for you or you're struggling with it, it's okay. As long as you have some notes in your thinking jobs, it's okay. But if you can figure out how to do it, like I showed you, go back and do it. It's going to be helpful. The passage. This is all you will have today. You have the passage and the audio, of course, and then you will have the question set. Okay, there are 10 questions. Numbers one through seven are multiple choice. So I'm going to pull up my multiple choice chart. So I go to my Google Classroom and I, I head down to reading. And I click close reading charts and review. Okay. Then I'm going to click close reading multiple choice steps. Here are the scholar steps. So what I like to do is pull it out like this. So it's its own separate thing. You could just put it next to it if you want, up to you. So I like to do like this. Okay, here are my steps. Okay. 
and I'm going to make this smaller. And I'm going to put this on side. Here are my questions. See? So now I can answer my questions. I have my steps to remind me. Okay, number one, read the question. What is it asking you? Do not, don't look at the choices yet. So I'm going to read it. What is it asking me? Cesar Chavez created a union for farm workers. What did this union want to do? Okay, what are they asking me? He created a union for the farm workers. What did this union want to do? They're asking me, what did the union or the people, the organization he created for farm workers, what did they want to do? Why were they a group of people? It was for farm workers. What did they want to do? So what did they want to do for farm workers? Why did they make this group? What were they trying to do? And then go back to the text and find that part. So I'm going to go to the passage. I'm going to find where he made a union for farm workers. Here, Cesar Chavez decided to do something about the conditions he and other migrant workers dealt with on farmers. So he decided to do something about the conditions, okay? I would highlight that, click a color, type it in if you need, or type it into your thinking jobs. He and the other migrant workers dealt with on farms. He created a union for farm, farm workers, here it is. This organization, boom, look at the answer. This organization aimed to fight for the rights of farm workers. Boom, found it, okay? It said read above, read the part, and read below. I read above, I read the part, now let me read below. In 1965, the union joined a strike against grape growers in California. They were fighting for better pay and working conditions. So it seems like this union, from me reading above that part and below, it's fighting for rights. It's fighting for better pay, better working conditions, making sure that they're treated right, right? Okay. Now, I just answered that in my own words, but it says on paper. So I'm going to jot down on my paper or you can type in your thinking jobs. Okay. Or you can make a little note like I showed you on here, whatever works for you, but put it down somewhere. Don't just have it in your head because by the time you get back to your question set, you will have forgotten some of it. You will confuse it. You will forget a part. So jot it down. So I'm gonna jot it down. I like to use paper, scratch paper. I'm going to jot it down and put it in my own words. The union was trying to fight for, what could I say? Fight for, what are you thinking? Think about the vocab, go back to the text. Fight for the workers' rights and for better pay and working conditions. I could even say because they were treated unfairly. Because if you look at the vocab, we know that right from yesterday means to treat fairly equally correct okay all right let's go back to the now it says look at my steps read all the choices and choose the answer that is best and hopefully it matches what you wrote prove your answer is correct prove it by looking at the other choices going back to the text and saying nope it didn't say that nope that's not the best one which choice encompasses or has all of this that we talked about just now okay choose the best one all right, but you have to look at all the choices. You don't just say, oh, yep, that's it, and move on. Because you might think so, and there may be a better one. So let me go back to the choices. All right, let's see. Fight for the rights of grape growers. Now, that was true that that happened in 1965, right? That came at the at below. But that wasn't the first point that's, that told us why he formed the union. That came on later, okay? 
when he created this union for farm workers, right when he created it, it was not about grape growers. So see how they can trick you? Because that is a good answer, but that's not the best answer because it didn't follow the timeline in order. So this is why you have to go through all of them. So honestly, I would put a star, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't slash it yet because that is true, but that came a little later. So there may be a better answer. Let me keep going. B. Fight for the rights of farm workers. Now, when we went to the text and we wrote that down, that's exactly what it said in the text. Go back and, and let's go back. He created a union for farm workers. The organization aimed to fight for the rights of farm workers. That's exactly what it said. It's not always going to be exact like that, but because this is nonfiction and this is a biography, the facts are right there. So right now I'm going to put a star there. That seems like the better answer so far, but I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to keep going. Fight for the rights of poor people across the United States. Now, I that sounds about right. Like that is what all activists want but the union was for farm workers it wasn't for all poor people it was focused on farm workers that caesar chavez created so good answer but not the right answer slash the trash there fight for the right of people to organize marches now we know a lot of activists that organize marches even in the ebook for caesar chavez it did show that they protested in march but that is not the best answer. So you see how all of these answers have some fact in them. They were in the text and that's how you can get tricked. You have to find the best answer for the question that is asked, okay? This question did not ask about marching. It did not talk about all the poor people in the world. And it did not talk about the grape growers. That was later on. It asked you about farm workers. And so B would be the better answer for that. Okay, so Miss Hill just helped you out with one of the answers. I'm not going to go through all of these because I want to see what you can do. Okay, now real quick before I stop, let's look at 8 through 10. And remember, if you have not done your thinking jobs from Monday where you typed in all of the evidence and um, accomplishments and why we're learning about Cesar Chavez, you need to go do that first before you even touch this. So if you have not done Monday, stop here, go back, do that, and then you can come back and watch this video and you can pick up where you left off. Okay, so for this one, you need a CER. Cesar Chavez and his family became migrant workers and moved to California when he was a boy. Describe the conditions Cesar Chavez and his family faced in California. What conditions did they face? Remember, we learned conditions, the vocab, in the last lesson. So if you didn't do that again, you need to go back. Okay, a condition is the type, is what you're working under, um, what type of, what's the environment that's happening? Um, is it clean? Is it dirty? Is it cold? Is it hot? Is it livable? Is it manageable? Or is it not a great condition, okay, for you? So describe the conditions that his family faced when they were working in California and, and when they moved there, okay? So... We need to go back to the text, but first I'm going to go to my close reading charts and review, click the CER chart. Okay, and now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say, okay, well, let me go back to the text to figure out this answer. Always go back to the text. It says, support your answer with evidence from the text. I'm going to find where he moved, his family moved to California. Right here. It talks about him being from Arizona when he was a boy. The conditions. Right here. The conditions were blank. They're telling me about the electricity, the running water, the work they did, the pay that they received. All you need two pieces of evidence all that evidence is right here so you start with your claim you flip the question the question was well it wasn't a question it just says describe the conditions so all you have to say is and his family face the conditions that caesar chavez and his family face were or the conditions in california were blank i know because or in the text it said and then you go back to the text in the text it said that the conditions were this 
it, in the text it said their housing had no blank. In the text it said they worked hard, but they worked many hours. In the text it said this evidence shows that the conditions were blank and give next steps. And that lets you know that this, this, and that. Got it? So you do flip the question, two pieces of evidence, reasoning, a reason to why you chose that evidence and prove it. Okay? You're going to do that for number eight, nine, and 10. All right, my loves? Okay. And remember what I said. If you have not done your thinking jobs for this one, just going to show you. Here's the thinking jobs right here. Reading thinking jobs. And you need to type in for Cesar Chavez. If you have not done that, you need to go do that right now. So see where it says Monday 5-4. Type your thinking jobs annotations for Cesar Chavez. You can pull this up while you're listening to the article, just like I showed you to pull it to the side. And you can type in here while you have the article on the other side to make it easier for you. Okay? Make sure you have this done before you move on to the questions. So this was the May 4th one. Okay? Today, May 5th, you will go to this, the one on top, ReadWorks, and you will do the questions. All right, friends, you can do it. I can't wait to see your hard work, and I hope to give some more friends a shout out, okay? Great job. See you later.